What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today, we're gonna see if you can tell the difference between the piezo pickup and an acoustic or a semi hollow body electric. All right, for this demo, for my acoustic, my good old reliable acoustic that I used for almost a couple decades solid, maybe a little more than that, it's my Takamini G-Series guitar. It's actually a EG-330C. And to be quite honest with you, I should have done this before doing this video, I did not do the research on what the piezo pickup is in this. It's whatever came with its stock. And for the semi-hollow body electric, is my brand new good old reliable, my uh, Glenn Burton GE355 NT Memphis model with the LR Bags piezo system in it with the two pneumatic bridge and the Control X preamp. So I've noticed that there's a lot of, can you tell the difference between this amp sim and the real amp? Can you tell the difference between this string gauge and this string gauge? All over YouTube, however, I have not found, at least I haven't found it at least, a shootout between a piezo and an acoustic and the piezo and an electric, or in this case, semi-hollow body electric. All right, let's get a couple things out of the way right away up front. Now, I know acoustically the difference between an acoustic guitar and a semi-hollow body electric, no contest, completely different. But what we're doing here today is we're gonna be testing just if you can tell the difference in piezo pickups when they're plugged in, that's it. Completely different comparison. Now, I had to make some changes in order to do this accurately. Now, on electric, I use 10 gauge nickel wound. On acoustic, I use 12 gauge bronze. So that might be a dead giveaway based on the different string gauges and the different string types. That might be a dead giveaway. So. For the purpose of this video, I put on the same strings on my acoustic that I have on my electric, 10 gauge. The Dario 10 gauge electric nickel wound. Now normally it'd be insane to put electric strings on an acoustic, but I thought it better than putting bronze acoustic strings on my electric. Well, you know, for this test, I'm gonna label them as clip A and clip B. Let's see if you can tell the difference. As always, the signal chain for this will be real simple as follows. Guitar into passive DI box, directly into the DAW, no post-production done whatsoever. What you'll be hearing back is just the pure, untouched DI track with no post-processing on it at all. Let's hear clip A. Now, here's clip B. So there it was, the shootout. 
the comparison, the A-B test. Could you tell the difference? Think really carefully. Now, here are the results. Here's clip A. Here's clip B. All right, everybody. Thanks for checking out this video. Do what makes you happy.